Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we were creating the classic steak and potato dish. So if you're a carnivore or you just don't know how to cook steak and potatoes in a creative way, then stay tuned because you learn something during this video. Let's get right into it. Here's a rundown of everything that you'll need. You need a steak. I have a 200 gram porterhouse sirloin right here. But you can use ribeye, you can use a fillet or any meat that cooks really quickly. You have rosemary, a garlic clove, you need salt, pepper, butter, I have some carrots right over here, some baby carrots for my vegetables, you need a bit of olive oil, you need of course a potato, two potatoes depending on how many portions you're cooking for, you need a juice of one orange for our carrots, and here I have mixed some whole shredded with sour cream for our sauce for the steak. I'm going to go ahead and grab a mandolin and slice our potatoes into really thin slices, about a quarter of a centimeter each, to look like that. Then you want to grab a dry cloth and take all the moisture out of the potatoes. And once all your potatoes are cut, you want to even them out into whichever shape you want to. I'm using a rectangular shape because it's going to go perfect with my plating. But you can obviously use whichever shape that you wish. Go ahead and grab your potatoes and slide them away from each other so that they create a slit illusion that looks like that. Now after this we're going to move on to our meat. So get your pan nice and hot. Season your meat with salt and pepper on both sides. Add oil and butter into your pan, your heated pan. And then we're going to go ahead and add our rosemary and garlic cloves. I'm going to go ahead and place my meat into a hot pan for 2 minutes on each side to acquire a medium rare temperature. So that's going to be between 55 degrees Celsius to 60 degrees Celsius. If your steak is thinner, then I'd advise for it to be cooked for a shorter period of time so it doesn't dry out. I'm going to go ahead and turn our meat once it's cooked for 2 minutes on that one side and then just lay all the flavor from the garlic and the rosemary on top of the meat so that it's nice and flavored and moist. And then you want to go ahead and turn your meat over to the side so that all the fat on the side of your steak gets nice and crispy and not soggy. So after the five minutes that the meat have spent in the pan, we want to go ahead and grab a cutting board and rest it for a further five minutes. Now while your meat is resting, grab some carrots and pop them into the boiling water. Move on to your potatoes and place them into hot canola oil. Make sure that they cover all of the potatoes so that it gets nice and evenly cooked. While your potatoes are cooking, go ahead and move on to your carrots. Drain the water from your carrots. Add a bit of butter and sugar to get it nice and caramelized. Go ahead and add uh, the orange juice that you had and pop that in there. I just love the citrus flavor and sweetness to the carrots when everything is added together we move on to our potatoes and as you can see they are nice and crispy so we just want to give them one more turn over and make sure they don't burn and then we want to pop them out of the oil and get them into a nice draining rag so all the oil comes out of our potatoes so they're nice and crispy and not soggy Okay, so after that's all done, move everything away from the heat and then we're going to move on to our plating. So I'm going to have two different kinds of plating. I have a black plate and I have a round plate. Now remember that horseradish and sour cream we had? We're using that as our base for our plate. So I went ahead and did that with a flat spatula and the second one I'm going to use a spoon because I don't want a level aspect to the black plate as I do want to the round plate. Go ahead and add your meat that is a nice and pink color. I love it when it's nice and rare. So I did three pieces on each side that's half the steak. Then I'm going to go ahead and pop our caramelized carrots on top of our black plate. And for this plate, for the black plate, I have kind of like a structured look for it. And for the round plate, I want it kind of deconstructed. So I'm going to place our carrots kind of all over our plate. And then we're going to go ahead and grab our crispy potatoes and construct that onto our round plate so it's deconstructed. It's not really flowing as our black long plate is. And then go ahead and pop a green and that's it.
thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to click that like button subscribe and if you have any requests of what you want me to cook next then just comment below and i'll make sure to do it have a good day and see you guys later